the farming and fishing sectors, the working poor, the pride communities afflicted by real hardship and disadvantage, know that being unionist matters little. The union does not put food on their tables or heat in their homes. Under the union, unionists make up fewer than 2% of the kingdom. I don't mean carry. <laughs> in a new republic, it would constitute 20%. It would be citizens, not subjects. They would have rights, not concessions. They would belong. They would be welcome. And we have to persuade them of that. So too does the Irish government. And the British government also has its obligations. But their obligations are of a different order. We in this room, and those outside this room who aspire to that objective, we are the nation builders. We have to engage to reach out to unionists, to talk to them on the type of Ireland we want to create. Our responsibility is to ensure that unionists are comfortable and secure in a new Ireland. It's their Ireland also. So it must be a shared Ireland, an integrated Ireland, an Ireland based upon rights in which unionists have equal ownership. There's also a need to attract and to work with allies internationally to build on existing support. There are tens of millions of people across the globe who can proudly trace their lineage back to this country. The Irish diaspora is strongest in the United States. I returned from there today. I left Ireland on Sunday, myself and Richard McCauley. So Tom Spencer Aku Bufoy. And yesterday it was my great honour to represent all of you at the inauguration of President Barack Obama. <laughs> and for me, my abiding memory of that event won't be the hoopla, won't even be the speeches, but just the presence of so many people, so many people of obvious different ethnic backgrounds who were united, wanting change, wanting peace, wanting justice, wanting equality. <laughs> there is considerable goodwill in the USA for United Ireland, and we have to mobilize and organize with our friends there to advance our goals. I want to welcome the president of the Friends of Sinn Féin, Larry Downs, to our proceedings today. I'm also pleased to announce that, in the, that this summer Sinn Féin will be hosting two major conferences in the USA. We'll be inviting Irish America to discuss with us how we can advance the United Ireland campaign. That campaign will also include Britain. And the initial focus of the United Ireland campaign in England, Scotland and Wales will be to build towards a major conference in London early next year. In the meantime, we're engaging with Irish communities MPs, other politicians, trade unionists and others right across our nearest offshore island. Most recently in places like Leeds, Newcastle, Liverpool and Birmingham, as well as in London itself. The planned London conference will not be the conclusion of this work, but will mark a stage in what must be a longer term campaign. So there are lots of challenges ahead, comrades, but there's also great hope, not least because many, many people want a better Ireland. They want an Ireland in which Orange and Green can build a common future in cooperation and harmony. We Republicans, we have a vision of an Ireland at peace with itself and its neighbours. And there will be hard times. These are indeed hard times for our country north and south, though people in the other regions have harder times. But in hard times, we are especially called upon to come forward. The leaders of the Rising in 1916, or the First Donald, they were called upon to come forward. They did not retreat, they came forward. They had a sense of purpose, and that's what Ireland needs today. Ireland needs citizens to step forward and to collectively shape that sense of common purpose. To make a commitment to do whatever all of us can to improve the lives of our people and our communities. We all of us 
of a responsibility for each other and a responsibility to each other. And the economic future of this island can be and must be built on solid, secure foundations. That means based upon fairness, equality and decency, not greed and corruption. So friends, brothers and sisters, to Gushlon Rowing Elite, to Sinfian Agobar, our son, August our Oath, to Hunya Earl, Seer, August Yetaha. On this 19th anniversary of the first freely elected parliament of all the Irish people, I want to invite all of you to join with us in building that new and better Ireland for all in the 21st century. <laughs> Thank you again for this and for the